All right, so for our very last part, we're going to be building the handle up here. Handle is kind of the most complex part we have in this assembly. Uh, and if we look at it, uh, this is our drawing of that part. Um, so it's actually not that complicated except for all these ridges in here. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to draw an outline and do a simple revolve uh, of the part without the ridges. Um, and then we can add this kind of cutout. This is where the ends of the arms are going to go in. Um, and then we're going to start adding these ridges. And all the ridges are actually the same. So we're going to create one ridge uh, and we're going to create a pattern to cut out the other um, it's, you know, eight of these ridges. So let's go over to SolidWorks. Oops, no, SolidWorks. Uh, do a new part. Go ahead, hit OK. All right, so as usual, we want to change to millimeters, grams, seconds up front. We're going to go into this, create a sketch, and I'm going to work in the front plane. All right, so I'm going to draw, it kind of goes out a little bit and up. It goes up a ways over like this, and I've got a center line. Um, coming down the middle. All right. So let's do some dimension and we'll round off some of these corners. All right. So if I go over here, I can see that the uh, this is 15 millimeters for the height of that kind of shortened section. That's where the cap goes, the handle tip goes over the handle. Uh, and then the whole thing is 120 millimeters tall. Uh, and then the radius of the smaller section is 26, uh, and the radius of the larger section is, or the diameter of this larger section is 30. So 26 and 30 are diameters. All right, so if I go, let's do those diameters first. So if I go there to there, that's actually going to be 30 millimeters. Should be a diameter. Uh, and this is going to be uh, 26 millimeters. All right. And then the whole thing here to here is going to be 120. And this bottom section is just going to be 15. All right. So with that, here. this is not working like I expected it to. So this is actually not giving us a diameter, this is giving us just radius. So we want to change this one to 15 actually, and change the bottom one, so half of 26 is going to be 13. All right, that's in line with what we want. All right, so we do still have to round off the top corner and this bottom corner here. Uh, those are going to be five and five for the top and three for the bottom. Go back over here. I'm going to do the sketch fillet where that was. Uh, so it's right here, sketch fillet. So it's like the top one, and that's going to be five. Hit OK. And select this bottom one down here. That's going to be three. Hit OK. All right, it's a little hard to see what's going on around here, but. That's fine. Uh, we're all done with that. So I'm going to exit the sketch and I'm going to go over to features and revolve that. So I just hit yes like normal and close it up along the center line. Um, 360 degrees, hit OK. All right, so that is a good start. So I still need to cut into the base down here. I'm going to do that next. So I'm going to go back to sketch add a sketch on this bottom surface here. Uh, I'm going to do select that, zoom in so I get a nice clear view. Uh, and that rectangle on the bottom, what we're going to do is it is a, uh, it's hard to see here, it's 4 by 10 and it's going to be centered right in the middle of the bottom. All right, so go back over here. I'm going to use my center rectangle. Start there and give that some dimensions. All right.
right? So it was four by 10. All right, so that's dimensioned in there. Uh, I'm gonna exit out of the sketch. Uh, I'm gonna go back over here to features and do an extruded cut. So that's gonna go into the piece. And this doesn't go all the way through, so I gotta be careful about the depth here. And so the depth of this, um, you can see it on this view over here, it's 27. So it's gonna go 27 millimeters into the handle. So I'm gonna change this to 27. All right, and hit OK. All right, so now I've got my hole in the end, um, and that's going to be where uh, the handle or the arms go into the handle. All right, so let's go and go back to a front view, kind of like that. All right, now I got to do. I'm going to do one of the grooves, and then I'm going to do a pattern to kind of repeat it eight more times. All right, so for one of those grooves, if I zoom in, I'm kind of actually I'm going to select the front plane in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and sketch. And if I have the front plane selected, I should be sketching on that front plane. So I'm going to do a rectangle. Oops, not a center rectangle. Undo that. I'm going to do the corner rectangle. And put one corner right. If you hover over it, you should be able to get right on the edge of the piece. And kind of do that. And you'll know you got it right if you get this coincidence. So that point is right on the edge there. All right, so I got to get the right dimensions for this piece here. All right, so each of my grooves, I can look in this detail. Uh, it's four millimeters total, uh, and there's one millimeter fillet. So the groove itself is actually only two by two. Uh, the fillet's just rounded out to four on either side. Uh, so I'm gonna go two for the depth, two for the height. So this is gonna be two, and this is gonna be two. All right. So after I do that, I gotta get the placement right. So it is on the edge, but it's gotta be vertically in the right place. And the bottom, so from this kind of shelf where the handle tip is, actually to the bottom surface is gonna be 20 millimeters there. All right, so that means from here to here, oops, not that. Select that first and then go down to here. That should be 20. All right. And since I'm going to be doing a revolved cut, I'm going to add a center line as well. Uh, so go in here, select a center line, and just kind of put it this midpoint here, go up like so. All right, so that's in the middle there. Uh, and I've got this little square here. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the sketch. And just like we do an extruded cut, we can do a revolved cut. So that's gonna cut a groove all the way around the cylinder. All right, so go over to features and revolved cut. And the center line should auto automatically be selected if it's in there. Uh, and you're gonna go 360 degrees around that cut. So go ahead, hit okay. All right, now we've got a nice square cut out. We do have to round it off, but that's the basis of what we have. Uh, and how we're gonna do this, we're going to uh, work with a fillet. I'm gonna select this top edge and the bottom edge. And we're gonna do just a one millimeter fillet as what was in the drawing there. So I'll do that, hit okay. Kind of rounds off those corners. All right, so that's one of the grooves. Uh, we want to we want to have seven more of those. There's eight total grooves as we move up. Um, and so what this is, uh, I want to repeat the cut revolve and the fillet a couple times. So I'm going to do a linear pattern. 
and a pattern is going to repeat something in one or two directions. Uh, in our case, one. We're just going to go up. So I do need to figure out a direction. And so the spacing, we got to get something on a center line. So let's exit out of that. We got to add another. We got to add a center line again. All right. So I'm going to go back to the front. The front plane, and do another sketch in there. Just put a center line right along the front. So. Grab a center line and just go like so. That'll give us our direction that we're going to work with. All right, so back over here. Control to select both of those. Oh, we're going to exit out of the sketch. Um, sorry, grab those again. Go over to features, and we're going to do this linear pattern. All right, so now. For the direction, I'm going to select that center line I created in the sketch. All right, we're going the wrong direction, so we want to be going up. Um, and you hit that, and you can flip it. All right, so this is the spacing, and if we look at our drawing over here, uh, it is 10 millimeters from one groove to the next. So that's our spacing, uh, and we have a total of eight of them. So if we go over here, this is the total. So I want eight of them. And I want them every 10 millimeters for the spacing. All right, so that's our linear feature. We're going to go ahead, hit OK, and we're all set with that. Um, so let me go ahead and give you a good view, isometric view. That's our handle. So we've got the overall handle shape, we've got the piece in the bottom, um, and we do. I can just take this and delete it at this point. So don't delete the child features. Yes. Nope. Nope. We'll leave that center line in there. All right. So with that, we're just going to go ahead and save. I'm going to save this one as the handle. And we're all set. So I'll see you for the assembly video.